Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Sermon of Eid al-Adha. All praise is due to Allah. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And much praise is due to Allah. Exalt is Allah in the morning and in the evening. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Feasts, Eids, are season of goodness and blessings, during which soul rejoice, hearts feel happiness, and people receive each other with a true joy and sincere smiles. This is a blessing of Allah the Almighty, who says, say, in the bounty of Allah and in His mercy, and that let them rejoice. It's better than what they accumulate. When the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, came to Medina, the people of Medina had two days in which they engage in games. He asked, what are these two days? They said, we used to engage ourselves with them in the pre-Islamic period. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah has substituted for them something better than that, the day of the breaking the fast, Eid al-Fitr, and the day of sacrifice, Eid al-Adha. The blessed day of Eid al-Adha is one of the days that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, has given a special status. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, says, The greatest day in the sight of Allah is the day of sacrifice, Al-Adha. And next to it, the day of Al-Qur, resting the day of Al-Qur is the day that comes next to the day of sacrifice. Because people rest in Mina city on, the, on this day after completing the work required in the day of sacrifice. On Eid Al-Adha, Joy and happiness are seen and enjoyed. On Eid al-Adha, joy and happiness are seen and enjoyed. And enjoyed. Pilgrims rejoice at performing the ritual that Allah has enabled them to make the tawaf, circumambulating around the Kaaba, running between as safa and Al-Marwa, and standing on the mountain of Arafat, where the blessing of the Almighty of, of uh, the Almighty Allah descend and standing on the mountain of Arafat where the blessing of the Almighty Allah descend. Muslim at any place rejoice at slaughtering sacrifices for the sake of Allah and to bring happiness to the poor and needy. Whenever the blessed Eid al-Adha comes, we remember the story of sacrifice and redemption. The story of Abraham and Ishmael, Allah's peace be upon them, which manifest the highest level of sacrifice, sincerity of submission, and full compliance with the command of Almighty Allah. Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, experienced the deprivation of having children. After a long time, he was blessed with his son Ishmael. When the child grew up, Allah tested the obedience of his prophet Abraham by commanding him to slaughter his son. In the Quran we read, and when he reached with him the age of exertion, he said, O oh my son, O oh my son, indeed I have seen in a dream that I must sacrifice you. So see what you think. Ishmael offered the most perfect example of submission and surrender. He said, O oh my father, O oh my father, do as you are commanded. You will find me if Allah's will of the steadfast. The blessing of Allah the Almighty come down for the sake of the father and his son who submitted the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah glorified his, he said. And when they had both submitted and put him down upon his forehead, we called to him, O oh Abraham, you have fulfilled the vision. Indeed, we thus reward the doers of good. 
Indeed, this was a clear trial, and we re re ransomed him with a great sacrifice. Hence, the practice of slaughtering sacrificial animals is a revival of the way of the Prophet Abraham and his son Ishmael submitted to the command of Allah. At the same time, it, is, it has a noble humanitarian meanings with the aim of spending generously on one's family and maintaining solidarity among the members of society. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, sacrificed two orange drums which were white with a black markings. He, peace be upon him, said, slaughter sacrificial animals, for it is a sunnah of your father Abraham. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, on the day of sacrifice, no one does a deed more pleasing to Allah than shedding of the blood of an animal. The sacrifice will come on the day of resurrection with its horns, its hairs, and its hoofs. And the blood finds acceptance with Allah before it fails on the ground. So, be glad about it. So, be glad about it. The companions of Allah's Messenger asked him the significance of this sacrifice. And he replied, it is a custom which he has come down from your father Abraham. They ask, what a reward they would receive for this? And he replied, for every hair you will receive a blessing. They asked about the wall. And he replied, for every strand of wall you will receive a blessing. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. How beautiful is to make the ritual of sacrifice a manifestation of the greatness of Islam and its civilization. This means we need to avoid slaughtering in public places, the entrances or to buildings and homes and in the street in order to avoid, avoid harming people. Since the Prophet ﷺ has said, there should be neither initiation or reciprocation of harm. We affirm that Eid is an opportunity to strengthen social bonds and relations through visiting and strengthening the ties of kinship and spreading love and fraternity among people. The fruits of maintaining the fruits of maintaining the ties of kinship are recorded in the hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ has said, anyone who wants to have his provision expanded and his term of life prolonged should maintain ties of kinship. Also in a Qudsi hadith, the Almighty Allah said, I'm the merciful. I'm the merciful Ar-Rahman. I have created ties of kinship in Arabic Rahim and derived a name for it for, from my name. If anyone maintain ties of kinship, I maintain the connection with him and I shall cut off any who cuts them off. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. At the end, I want to tell everyone Happy Eid al-Adha, and I hope everyone will have a great Eid. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.